The black area is the tumor. The white area are the ribs surrounding the tumor. Michael Slag is in awe of a tumor. Well, a 3D printed model of the tumor that was growing at the top of his right lung. A Mayo Clinic surgeon removed it in a minimally invasive operation. And just three days later, he's going home. Well, it's unbelievable. In fact, I was walking the first night after surgery. Unbelievable because of how this 3D model spared him from what surely would have been a much more invasive operation with a far longer and more painful recovery. But I'm sure if my chest would have been split open, I probably would have been in an ICU and uh, probably a whole lot different experience. This tumor, it's sitting right by the brachial plexus. The growth was a type of lung cancer called a pancose tumor, so rare that Mayo Clinic has only seen 60 cases in the past 20 years. We frequently may have a plastic surgeon, an orthopedic surgeon, a vascular surgeon, and myself all involved in a pancose tumor resection. And when that's the case, there's nothing better than having a model for the whole team to meet around and plan the case. Thoracic surgeon Shanda Blackman says the 3D model helped eliminate surprises by showing the team exactly how Michael's large tumor was wrapped around several critical nerves and blood vessels. Clearly everyone's tumor is different and it's always in a different location. It took about 70 hours for a high-tech 3D printer to create the model. The brachial plexus. But radiologists put in many hours before that, incorporating MRI images, CT scans, and sophisticated computer software to first create a virtual model of Michael's anatomy. Those are the nerve roots coming out of the cervical spine. Color-coded okay. for each specific tissue type. There you can see the veins, the aorta, pulmonary artery, and then um, the brachial plexus and then the tumor up there. Radiologist Jane Matsumoto is co-director of Mayo Clinic's 3D anatomic modeling lab. The radiology department is made up of like 170 people who all have subspecialty areas of expertise in bone, in lung, in nerves. You know, we're able to draw all those people um, under in one area to work together to create this. It's a technology surgeons are using for complex cases in orthopedics, heart and vascular repair, pediatrics and other specialties. It helped Dr. Blackman decide Michael's lung tumor could be removed laparoscopically without opening his chest. So the surgery that we performed was basically putting a camera in the side of the chest through a small hole that was created. We had two additional ports that are basically tubes that we put in between the ribs that we pass instruments through. And that was all we did to resect his tumor. Besides a quicker recovery, the less invasive approach requiring less cutting reassured Michael for another reason. You see, he is also Dr. Slag, an endocrinologist who performs some delicate medical procedures of his own. This lighter gray area is the brachial plexus, a complex set of nerves that run the arm. Knowing that I was more likely to come out with a hand that worked compared to you know an arm that wasn't going to do very much was... Um, just a big load off my mind. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.